2017 goals. Take one. Hey everyone, it's me, Halis. If you want to see my 2016 review, uh, head to the Eye of Sauron. It is there. So yeah, for 2017, what we about to do now? What we about to do now? So there are a few things in 2017 that I want to project. Um, you know, Jesus be a fence all around me every day and hopefully achieve in 2017. The first thing I want to do is learn Spanish. And let me go ahead and explain this why. As y'all know, Mr. Halis is, is of the Latinx variety. A lot of his extended family, while they do know English, their predominant language is Spanish. And so it's really frustrating for me to come down to Laredo and spend time with them. And there is literally a language barrier a lot of the time. I do know some Spanish. I can understand it relatively well. Um, I just can't like respond back to you, you know? Learning Spanish has literally been a resolution that I have made for myself easily since like 2010. This time I want to be serious about it so that way by the end of the year when it is the holiday season again and we are back in Laredo again, I can actually converse with people better than I do now. Because what usually inevitably happens is we go down for the holiday season and that is the moment when I'm like, ugh, I should have been better about doing Duolingo, I should have been better about reading news in slowspanish.com, I should have been better about, you know, watching a telenovela with English subtitles, like I should have been better, you know? So this year, don't get got. I'm gonna try to stay on my grind and learn this other language. The second thing is a spirit of giving. I am very grateful with the hand that I have been dealt in this life, you know? I am a young professional, I'm relatively accomplished, I'm healthily middle class, and I'm just grateful for that. And I think with that comes a responsibility to pay it forward and to be better about helping those that have not been dealt such a great hand. So a personal goal I have for myself is to volunteer once a month somewhere. And then also the other thing I am probably going to do and incorporate into this channel and my social media is the spirit of giving. I will try more or less once a month to give something away somehow, either on this channel or on my Facebook, Instagram, and I guess Twitter. It could, something could pop up on Twitter, I don't know. So I guess like follow me on social media if the spirit moves you, whatever. Number three goal of 2017 is kind of like getting more into minimalism. Um, someone I follow on here is Jenny Mustard. I really enjoy her minimalist channel. She's serious with the minimalism. She's so sincere. I'm not at that level. Ooh, not at that level. But I appreciate the ideas of minimalism and not letting your things dictate so much of your life. Unfortunately, as a video producer, I have things. Like I have to have things a little bit. I have to have a lot of equipment, gear. Where possible, I want to minimalize so that way that I can focus on things that truly matter. For me, it's about spending money more on experiences and not things. Um, get rid of the things that don't bring me joy in my life. That is something in 2017 that I will strive for, the ideas of minimalism and applying them to my life where I can. Also, like I said, you know, growing spiritually, growing as a person in general, it's a journey. And um, in 2016, I discovered Thomas Frankly, who Thomas Frank, who is all about being the best version of you, um, more business focused and like production focused. And I really enjoy his channel. I've really, in 2016, I really began to incorporate a lot of his ideas into my daily life and saw results. And I wanna continue that. I always want to be content with where I am. Amen. Always be content with where I am, but also strive to be better. So I am starting off 2017 with some light reading um, that I wanna share with y'all now. I'm currently reading this book right now, I'm about halfway done, is Smarter, Better, Faster by Charles Duhigg. Am I saying your name right? Charles Duhigg? Let me know. Got this book from my good friend, Anna. Um, it was on my reading, it was on my Amazon wish list, and she hooked me up. Thanks, boo. The secrets of being productive in life and business. And I'm already like gaining so much from this book. The second book I am reading, got this for Christmas from my mama, is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Hope I'm saying your name right, Stephen. Powerful lessons in personal change. 
And I haven't started reading this one yet, but I shall, because I'm super excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. And I'm just trying to like, I'm just out here trying to be better. You know what I'm saying? Out here trying to be somebody, trying to be better. Finally, you know, like I said, always trying to be better. For me, my faith is a big part of who I am. Spirituality, my faith in Jesus Christ is important to me. So I am also reading this book, A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. I've already started reading it. Like that's where I'm trying to be in 2017. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, productivity growth, business growth. Like I'm just trying to grow. Amen? The thing I'm really trying to embody is like, be ready so you ain't gotta get ready. You know, like don't get got. You know, I think for me, how I, to tie that into like my spirituality and my faith is that, you know, God sends us messages, God sends us opportunities, but is we ready to receive them though? You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just trying to make sure that I'm ready to receive when it's time for God to be like, hey, you could actually be a blessing to that person. And I'm like, and I'm ready to receive it, amen? Self-growth, I think, will be the theme for 2017, for sure, for sure. Um, in the comments below, let me know what resolutions you have this year, you know? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to be about, you know? The giveaway, take something. Look, trying to be in the spirit of giving, I almost forgot to tell y'all about the damn giveaway. In the spirit of giving, the first giveaway for this year will be this book, Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg. I will, I have an extra copy, I will send it to you. What you need to do to get this book. Hmm, how do I wanna do this? How do I wanna do this? Where do I wanna put this giveaway at? Ugh, where do I wanna put it? Where do I wanna put it? Where do I wanna put the giveaway? Where do I wanna put the giveaway? Where do I wanna put the giveaway? Let's do it on Facebook, yeah. All right, so the giveaway will be on my Facebook. I will have a photo of this book on my Facebook page and, ooh, Boop, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so there will be a photo of this book on my Facebook page. Go to that photo, comment, but here's what you gotta do. Comment nominating who you think should get the book and why. Pay it forward, fam. Nominate somebody, be the blessing to somebody else. So, again, let's review. Picture of this book will be on my Facebook page. Comment with who you think should get the book and why. Tag them if you can, so that way if they do get the book, I can message them directly, get their address, all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, that's how we gonna do this first giveaway, via the Facebook page. Link to my Facebook page down below in the comments section. And with that, I will see you when I see you. Feel free to follow me on social media if the spirit moves you. I try to push out new videos every Monday at noon, but like, don't quote me on that. I'm in these streets, I'm trying to live my life, I'm trying to be somebody. Above all things, I will see you when I see you.